I'll be using a 4 mm crochet hook and a double knit yarn. To start a circle, make a slip knot first. Secure your knot and chain 2. Insert your hook in the first chain, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through both loops and you have your first single crochet. For round 1 we will make a total of 6 single crochets. At the end of the round, remove your stitch marker and join with a slip stitch. Go under both loops, yarn over, pull up a loop and pull through the loop on your hook. To start the next round, chain 1 and make a single crochet in the first stitch. Insert hook under both loops, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through both loops on your hook and you have your first single crochet. Place your stitch marker and make another single crochet in the same space. So for round 2 we'll be making 2 single crochets in each stitch. At the end of round 2 you should have a total of 12 single crochets. At the end of the round, remove your stitch marker and join with the slip stitch. To start the next round, chain 1. Make 2 single crochets in the first space. So here's your first single crochet, place your stitch marker and then make the second single crochet in the same space. In the next stitch make one single crochet. So in this round we'll be doing two single crochets and then one single crochet and we'll repeat for the entire round. Two single crochet in one stitch is also called an increase. At the end of round 3, you should have a total of 18 single crochets. At the end of the round, remove your stitch marker and join with a slip stitch. To start the next round, chain 1 and make 2 single crochets in the first stitch. So the first is the increase with 2 single crochets in 1 stitch. In the next stitch, make a single crochet and then move on to the next stitch and make another single crochet again two single crochets in the next stitch which is an increase and then two single crochets in the next two stitches we will repeat this pattern for the entire round By the end of round 4, you should have 24 single crochets. Join the round with a slip stitch and chain 1 to start the next round. For round 5, we'll be doing an increase and then 3 single crochets in the next 3 stitches. So here you have your increase and now the separate stitches. So the first one, second, And the third one and we'll follow the same pattern for the entire round by the end of round 5 you should have 30 single crochets at the end of the round join with the slip stitch and chain 1 to start the next round I hope by now you have an understanding of how the pattern works for round 6 make an increase and then 4 single crochets in the next 4 stitches Keep on increasing the number of rounds to make the circle as large as desired.
so here is my piece ready I wanted to share how it looks like now I will make another circle with a slight difference start in the same way by chaining two and then making six single crochets in the first chain At the end of the round, remove your stitch marker and instead of making a slip stitch, we will make a single crochet here. So you will pick up a loop, you have two loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through both loops on your hook. Place your stitch marker and this is your first single crochet of the next round. Make another single crochet in the same space and carry on making two single crochets in each stitch. Follow the same pattern as of the first circle. The only difference is that at the end of the round, instead of a slip stitch, we will directly start making single crochets. This will be more of a spiral than rounds. I have mentioned the pattern in the description box, so you may have it for future reference. And at the end of the round remove your stitch marker and make a single crochet in the first stitch continue working in the same pattern So here is my second circle and uh, you can see how it looks like. The only thing is that since it's in a spiral, the last stitch has a bit of a difference but if you sew in nicely and uh, hopefully no one will notice. Now I'll keep both these circles together and you can see the seam in the first circle but the second one looks much more neater. Mm -hmm. 